back guys, Jacqueline here, this is Dreams of Music and Makeup. Today I'm doing a tutorial on the look that you're seeing right now. Funny story, this actually was supposed to be a monochromatic pink look. You can see how far we strayed from that path. But yeah, I'll show you exactly how we got here. This is more of a purpley brown smoky eye. And I went full glam for this tutorial, so I hope you enjoy. If you want to see how I got this look, stay tuned. I'm going to show you every step of the way, how we got here. If you enjoy this look, go ahead and give it a like. Let me know what you'd like to see next down below. You know me, I want to give you what you want. So just lay it on me, guys. I will do that next. Um, this video is also a couple of first impressions. The main one is this Shu Amura S Curler that I recently purchased. I have been waiting for this product for months. I've been so anxious to try it. And so I'm doing a first impression on that in this video for you, as well as the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer, which is their skinny brow pencil sold at the drugstore. It's about $10. As you know, I'm loyal to my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow whips, but we're giving this one a try today. So if you'd like to see that, stay tuned. Let's go ahead and get started. If you notice my lips are a little bit red and puffy, I had just exfoliated them, so that I'll go down slowly. Going in with a little bit of MAC Strobe Cream to prime today. Yay, holographic dreams. Anyway, uh, just blending that in all over. I was a little dry this day, so I'm just adding that. I'm also cracking up silently while watching men do women's makeup on YouTube. Now taking a little bit of Too Faced Shadow Insurance for my eye primer. I am going to just smooth that all over my lids. I would actually recommend you using your ring finger for this because it's the weakest finger on your hand and the least likely to cause premature wrinkling in this area. I actually had a brief lapse of judgment and um, used my middle finger by mistake. Now I'm going in with the same products I used in my last video, the Wet n Wild brush and Single Shadow in Brulee. This is their fluffy crease brush that they released last summer and this brulee single shadow they will each run you about a dollar at the drugstore now i'm going in with this urban decay naked three palette this is a little bit of foreshadowing because i completely strayed from the intended look i was supposed to do in this video we're starting off with mauve i thought of this palette and i think oh yeah the rosy tones by urban decay no the only matte shades in here our mauve, which starts us off way too dark to ever make our way back to being a pink monochromatic look. So, note to self and any others who may be under the same impression, the sparkly pinks in this palette are not colorful enough to give you a pink look. So, adding that mauve really changed this look up into a purple smoky eye. So, using that as my transition shade and as a little bit of contour on my outer corner. I am adding that shade with a natural hair brush. This one is by Morphe. I don't highly recommend their goat hair brushes. If you are going to purchase Morphe brushes, you can try out their synthetic ones. I've had better luck with those. I just wouldn't do any white haired ones. Now going in with a slightly smaller goat hair brush and the deeper matte shade from that palette, which is called Nooner. The lighter one, it was called Limit. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, so sorry. So first we use Limit, now we're using Nooner. They are both matte mauve shades from this palette. As I do have hooded lids, I do bring this up a little bit higher than maybe some other YouTubers that you watch, because otherwise when I open my eyes, none of this definition is visible going back and forth between that brush that I'm using to apply the darker mauve shade and the first brush we use to kind of blend out those edges. Highly recommend this technique for blending eyeshadows. I also try to keep a lot of the blending in these videos even though I do speed it up because so much of the time that I spend doing my makeup I'm just blending. Now I'm adding a little bit of red into this look because you know we weren't pink yet. This is my Z palette that I put together using mostly Makeup Geek shadows. These two I selected are Makeup Geek. The more red, bright cherry color is called Mars. That is from a palette that was a collab with Manny MUA. I have depotted it. And the burgundy shade you can get on their site individually all the time. It is called Bitten. I'm applying that shade in my crease more precisely with this tiny little synthetic blending brush by Morphe. This is the M507. And now just picking up that last blending brush we used with no additional product for those mauve shades, I am just going to use that brush and blend out the edges of this red shade. 
Again, no additional product. There is no actual eyeshadow on this brush except what was on there before. And I am just blending that out. And also, this Urban Decay palette, I don't recommend. It's actually something I'm considering decluttering from my collection because it is so dusty and the purples are not great purples. Going back in with a couple of those mauve shades again, same colors, Limit and Nooner, mixing them. I wanted a little bit more purple added back in. As I was saying, I don't recommend this palette. I think it's particularly dusty. I don't think the purples are very well formulated. I couldn't decide what color I wanted to shimmer on my lid, so I swatched a couple and picked the pinkier one. First I'm going in with this Wet n Wild brush, but it was not applying as densely as I'd like. I could have fixed that by adding some Fix Plus, but I just didn't feel like it, so I put the shadow on my finger. This is Luna by Makeup Geek. This was again from that Manny MUA palette. I have depotted it. I'm sure you have something shimmery and pink in your eyeshadow collection. That's all you need for this step. Now that I've got that sufficiently packed on, I am going to go in with that same blending brush and just blend out the edges so that it fades seamlessly into the darker colors. This is the Physician's Formula Eyeliner Lash Booster Plus Serum in the shade Ultra Black. This is my favorite drugstore eyeliner, um, liquid liner that is. And I am tight lining as well as adding some wings on with this look. I did go full glam, so why hold back? So I start on my more difficult eye, which is always my left side, and do that side first, and then I try to match it up on my right side, which is easier. Once I've done that, I'm just cleaning it up with a makeup wipe. This is always my trick for evening out winged liner. Just pull it really tight around your fingernail and clean it up. Makes a nice sharp line and cleans up the eyeshadow too. Also gonna pick up any glitter that fell down in the midst of that. Um, now for this next part, I did screw up and I forgot to film for my foundation and concealer. So I do apologize. Um, I used the same products as in my last video. So now I'm just setting under my eyes with my Sigma F35 highlighting brush and my ELF HD under eye setting powder. Now I'm just going in with a little bit of shadow on my lower lids. This is a Real Techniques shading brush with the shade Mink Pink by MAC on it. This is a very, very old eyeshadow that I have, probably one of my first purchases from there, and I adore this shade. You can use any pink shadow you have. This one is matte. And then I'm adding a little bit, another shadow by MAC. This is MAC Cranberry. And the brush I'm using is by Morphe. It's a flat line definer brush. Any flat skinny brush will do. Synthetic is preferable as this is a shimmery shade that we're putting there. If you prefer a more defined lower lash line, I would stop at this step. Um, I prefer a more blown out lower lash line. I prefer it to be a little more diffused, so I reached back to that Real Techniques brush with no additional product. And just blend it a little further. Now moving on to the face. I'm gonna blush first. I mixed two of those shades. One is a more classic pink and one is more corally pink. The corally pink is Sephora number no. six, which I believe is called Flirt It Up. And the more classic pink blush is Makeup Geek Spellbound. I'm just taking that on the Sephora Pro Mini Airbrush. This is the number 55.5. The .5 just refers to the length of the handle. It's a short handle brush. Next for bronzer, I'm going to be picking up my e.l.f. complexion brush, my favorite $3 bronzing brush, it's amazing, and the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, which I have depotted, as you may have seen. Uh, this bronzer does have a strong scent. If that bothers you or breaks you out, I would go with their regular bronze booster in the shade light medium or medium dark um, that has the brown lid. It's also a gorgeous bronzer. Next, this is a little crown brush I got in that same set several years ago as the fluffy powder brush I use, and I'm using this to contour my nose. Same Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Next for highlight, I'm using this Sun Dipped Glow Kit by Anastasia. Sorry, it didn't really focus. Um, I'm going to put that on the Sephora Pro 79 Contour Brush. It is also a highlight brush. I'm going to mix two shades. They're called Summer and Tourmaline. I really enjoy this formulation of highlight. Actually, I have 
three of these palettes because I just adore them and I'm crazy. What I like about this one in particular is it has become permanent in Anastasia's line, which is a new development, and it is back available on Sephora.com right now. So if you do enjoy this highlighting palette, you can get it. This is not sponsored in any way. They don't know of my existence, but I love these palettes. And I tried to show you the one that is actually available. I went a little ham with that highlight. I'm gonna tone it down a bit because I am not headed to Mars. Now going in with the precious. This is the thing I was waiting weeks to review. This is the Shuamura S Curler. This is a cage-free curler. It is not like traditional curlers in that it will curl all your lashes in one full swoop. It takes a couple of sections to do that, but it does not have the bars on the side, which often cause me issue. It was much smaller than I anticipated. It works. It does take a little bit of getting used to. It's a slightly different angle and application for curling your lashes. And using something scary like this for the first time, I always doubt myself and refer back to the instructions one last time before potentially pinching my eyeballs out of my face. This did take me a couple of minutes to really get it the way I wanted to, but I really enjoyed this. It does take a couple of minutes. It's probably gonna take me several tries to really get the hang of this and be able to do it as quickly as I would with a traditional curler, but definitely think it's worth a try and I enjoyed it. I think we got all the way to the corner I thought without curling my bottom lashes, which is always an issue. <laughs> going in with some mascara. This is by Revlon. It's their Dramatic Definition Mascara. I definitely think this one's a nice one. I haven't tried very many Revlon mascaras, but I really liked it. It does define really well. I think it really separates and makes your lashes super black. It just doesn't wear well for me, so I'm going to top this up with my favorite Maybelline mascara. This will cost you about $4.50 at Walmart. This is the Maybelline Great Lash Lots of Lashes. It is their original pink and green formula with a new and improved brush. This one has rubber bristles. If you're not a fan of that, you may still like this one because it tapers down to a really, really skinny point at the end. I find it really helpful for getting in the little crevices. Always dab off that extra glob of mascara on the end of the wand because if you don't do that and you reintroduce it to your mascara tube when you're done, it actually attracts all the moisture from the rest of the mascara and then it sucks all the moisture out of the rest of your mascara. So it makes it dry out faster. Here I gouged my eye out, not fun. Really don't recommend that, but it does happen to me about once a week. I love this mascara. I have actually worn this Maybelline mascara for over 48 hours and it has not flaked. I always repurchase this. Best 450 you can spend at the drugstore. Now for brows, I am going to brush them downward first so they look a little sad and fill them in at the top. I'm using this L'Oreal Brow Stylus Definer. This was my first time trying this product as well. Another first impression for you. Bonus! And I adore this. This color is fantastic. I think if you have any light to medium ashy brow color that this could work for you. This is in the shade Blonde. They do only have three shades, I believe, but we'll see if they expand that with time. But you do get the exact same amount of product and the exact same packaging as the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow is, but it's less than half the price. So definitely worth a try. Now to fill in, once I have done that upper border with my, bra <laughs> with my brows brushed down, I brush them back up and just fill in any sparse areas with little hair-like strokes. I use very, very little pressure and just go in whatever direction the hairs are growing in that area. If you guys would like an even more in-depth tutorial on doing brows and that sort of thing, just let me know. Let me know what questions you have. I would love to answer them and I can do a specific video on that for you guys if it interests you. Next to set my brows, I'm taking my little sample of Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel to comb through and set. This is super glue for your face. I mean, if you have any issues with your brows moving throughout the day, 
go out and try this. I swear you will not regret it. Now for lips, I'm going in with this NYX Retractable Lip Liner Pencil in the shade Nude Pink. I'm going in and lining my natural lip line first, and then this perfectionist always has to even out any little discrepancies from side to side. I also line my eyes differently on my two eyes to try and make the shapes look the same. So, you know, perfectionist makeup obsessed problems. This is why I spend so much time doing my makeup. Also because I enjoy it. Priorities. I do really like this lip pencil though. Very creamy. For our all over lip color, I'm using this Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. This is their old packaging. It looks very sad. Their bright shiny new packaging is much fancier, but this is my favorite color and I've had it for a while. So it looks like this. This is the shade Laguna Beach. It is a my lips but better shade. If mine were pink and evenly pigmented all over, they would look like this. It's a really nice option if you don't want to do a nude but you don't want a bold lip. This is our finished look. You can go ahead and mist with setting spray if you have a long day ahead of you. That will definitely help this wear longer. I only wore this for a couple hours so no mist for me. Now after five minutes of hair flipping, you get the gist of the look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, leave me a like, leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Thanks guys! Bye. Um, my dogs think you're an actual person. L'Oreal Brow Stylist Primer. Darcy. Go sit down. Go sit down. Go sit down. Crisis averted. Dog in lap. Let's not your bike. Hmm.